Our story begins millions of years ago, long before modern humans walked the earth. In the heart of ancient forest and sprawling savannas, a journey began, one of survival, transformation, and adaptation. This is the story of how humans came to be. From the first tentative steps of upright apes to the fire-building pioneers of Homo erectus, each species in our lineage was shaped by the world around them. They faced towering predators, shifting climates, and new challenges, evolving step by step into the beings that we recognize as human. In this odyssey, we'll discover the lives of our ancestors, what they looked like, how they acted, and the environments they called home. From the proto-apes of ancient Africa to the first toolmakers, this is the chronicle of our shared past. Welcome to The Human Odyssey. Our journey begins seven million years ago in the northern Sahel region of what is now Chad. Here, in a world of open savannas and scattered forest, lived one of the earliest known members of our lineage, Sahelanthropus chadensis. This small, ape-like ancestor stood at the crossroads of evolution, blending traits of both humans and their primate cousins. Its brain, no larger than a modern chimp's, about 350 cubic centimeters, was primitive. Yet its face hinted at what was to come. Unlike the protruding snouts of apes, Sahelanthropus had a flatter, more human-like face, framed by heavy brow ridges and smaller canine teeth. But the most striking clue lies beneath its skull, the placement of the foramen magnum, where the spine connects, suggests that Sahelanthropus could walk upright, a hallmark of our evolutionary journey. While it likely spent much of its time in trees, bipedalism may have allowed it to explore the ground, scavenging for food or avoiding predators. In its time, Sahelanthropus lived alongside towering predators and competed with other early primates for survival. It likely encountered early primates like Pleopithecoids and other proto-apes, which shared its partially forest habitat. Large predators such as saber-toothed cats and massive crocodilians would have been constant threats, while scavengers like early hyenas competed for resources. These species influenced Sahelanthropus' behavior, driving its adaptation to a life between trees and land. Though its life was likely harsh and its tools non-existent, this species set the stage for what was to come, a lineage that would slowly but surely step away from the trees and onto two feet, forever changing the course of history. As our journey continues, we move forward to around six million years ago, in the lush, wooded hills of Tugan, Kenya. Here, we find Auroran Tugenensis, one of the earliest known species to hint at the human trait of bipedalism. At first glance, Auroran might seem like a typical tree-dwelling primate. It was small, no larger than a chimp, and its long, strong arms and thick humerus suggest it was well adapted for climbing. However, a closer look at its thigh bone, the femur, reveals something extraordinary. Adaptations for upright walking. While it likely spent much of its time in the trees, Auroran was also capable of moving efficiently on two legs when on the ground. Its teeth, small and chimp-like, hint at a diet similar to that of modern primates. While its mix of human-like and ape-like traits has sparked debate about its place in the human family tree, was it a true ancestor of ours or a cousin along a parallel evolutionary path? Either way, its combination of bipedalism and tree climbing marks an important step in the evolution of hominins. In its world, Auroran faced challenges from formidable predators like saber-toothed cats and giant snakes, 
while sharing its environment with other early primates and diverse wildlife. This small but significant species was a pioneer of adaptation, bridging the gap between life in the trees and life on the ground. Our journey takes us to Ethiopia, around 4.4 million years ago, where we encounter Artipithecus ramidus. This fascinating species reveals a critical stage in human evolution, an ancestor equally at home in the trees and on the ground. With a brain size of only 300 to 350 cubic centimeters, similar to that of modern chimpanzees, Artipithecus was not yet a thinker like us. Its body, however, tells a story of transition. Its pelvis and leg bones suggest it could walk upright when needed, a trait that would become a hallmark of humanity. But it was no full-time biped. Its grasping feet and long arms were still perfectly suited for climbing. Despite these ape-like traits, Artipithecus shows early signs of human-like adaptations. Its pelvis, while not as specialized as ours, allowed for bipedal walking, hinting at a species beginning to explore life on the ground. Its teeth, with thick enamel and smaller canines compared to apes, suggest a shift in diet and social behavior paving the way for later hominins. Living in a mosaic environment of forest and open woodlands, Artipithecus faced challenges from both predators and competition for food. It likely coexisted with other primates, early mammals, and formidable predators like saber-toothed cats. This remarkable species bridges the gap between our tree-dwelling ancestors and the ground-dwelling bipeds to come. About 3.9 to 2.9 million years ago, East Africa was home to Australopithecus afarensis, one of the most famous early human ancestors. Best known from the fossil skeleton Lucy, this species represents a significant leap in our evolutionary journey. With a brain size of 375 to 500 cubic centimeters, Australopithecus afarensis had a larger brain than its predecessors, though still far smaller than modern humans. Its face retained ape-like features, including a protruding jaw and a flat nose. Yet its smaller canine teeth and thickly enamored molars hint at a dietary shift towards tougher vegetation. One of its defining features was its bipedalism. Fossilized footprints in Laetoli, Tanzania show that Australopithecus afarensis walked upright with a gait surprisingly similar to ours. Its pelvis and leg bones were adapted for life on the ground, yet its long arms and curved fingers reveal it still climbed trees for safety and food. In its environment, Australopithecus would have encountered a variety of species, from grazing antelope and ancient elephants to deadly predators like saber-toothed cats and giant hyenas. This dynamic ecosystem shaped its survival strategies, forcing it to adapt to both the dangers of the ground and the safety of the trees. Though small in stature, standing about three to four feet tall, Australopithecus afarensis had a remarkable impact on our evolutionary story. Its combination of bipedalism and arboreal skills allowed it to thrive in a changing environment, setting the stage for the emergence of more advanced hominins. Around 2.3 to 1.6 million years ago, the evolutionary story took a groundbreaking turn with the emergence of Homo habilis, or handyman. Found across East and Southern Africa, this species earned its name for a remarkable innovation, the use of tools. Now with a brain size of 510 to 600 cubic centimeters, 
Homo habilis showed a significant increase in cognitive abilities compared to earlier hominins. This larger brain likely supported better problem-solving and planning skills, crucial for surviving in a harsh and competitive environment. Physically, Homo habilis was still somewhat ape-like. It stood around 4 to 5 feet tall and had long arms suited for climbing. But its smaller teeth and rounder skull hint at a diet and behavior that were becoming distinctively human. A skilled scavenger, Homo habilis used tools to access marrow and meat from carcasses that other predators left behind. These tools, including flakes and choppers, marked a major shift in survival strategies, allowing Homo habilis to exploit new food sources. Socially, Homo habilis may have had a primitive form of communication, enabling cooperation in tool making and food sharing. These behaviors likely laid the groundwork for the complex social interaction of later humans. Living in a dynamic ecosystem, Homo habilis would have encountered ancient species like Dinophilus, a saber-toothed cat, giant hyenas, and other early hominins. Their ingenuity and adaptability allowed them to thrive in an ever-changing environment. Roughly two million years ago, a groundbreaking species emerged, Homo erectus. Spanning an incredible 1.9 million to 110,000 years ago, this resilient hominin was the first of our ancestors to venture far beyond Africa, leaving its mark across Asia and Europe. With the brain size averaging 600 to 1,100 cubic centimeters, Homo erectus represented a leap in intelligence. This larger brain supported advanced behaviors such as the ability to craft sophisticated tools and control fire, key adaptations for survival in diverse and often harsh environments. Physically, Homo erectus looked strikingly human. Standing between 5 and 6 feet tall, it had a more modern body proportion with longer legs and shorter arms perfectly suited for efficient walking and even running over long distances. Its robust skeleton suggests it was built for endurance. One of the most remarkable innovations of Homo erectus was the Acheulean hand axe. These versatile tools, along with the use of fire for cooking and warmth, allowed this species to expand its diet and adapt to new environments. Fire not only improved nutrition, but also offered protection from predators. Socially, Homo erectus showed signs of cooperation and possibly early forms of communication. The ability to share resources and work together likely played a key role in its survival and success. Living across continents, Homo erectus would have likely countered a wide array of species. From hunting and scavenging alongside large herbivores to competing with formidable predators, it adapted to an ever-changing and challenging world. As one of the longest living hominin species, Homo erectus set the stage for future evolutionary advancements. Its innovations in tools, fire, and migration marked a pivotal chapter in the human story bridging the gap between the primitive past and the beginnings of modern humanity. The journey of human evolution is one of survival, adaptation, and discovery. From the earliest proto-hominins navigating their wooded homes to the tool makers, fire users, and pioneers who spread across continents, each step brought us closer to the humans we are today. These species, though long gone, left behind clues that speak to us across millions of years. Their bones, tools, 
and even footprints tell a story of resilience in the face of immense challenges. A story that is still unfolding today. As we look back at our origins, we not only learn about who we were, but also gain insight into what makes us human. Curiosity, creativity, and the drive to explore define us, just as they defined our ancestors. This is our story, a journey that began millions of years ago and continues today. Thank you for listening to The Human Odyssey.